Welcome! OHRP's Division of Education and Development created this tutorial to explain the idea of institutional engagement in research under Subpart A of the HHS Regulations for the Protection of Human Subjects, also known as the Common Rule. It applies to both the pre-2018 and the revised rule. In general, an institution is engaged when it is the primary awardee of HHS funding for the conduct of human subjects research, or when its employees or agents perform HHS-supported or conducted non-exempt human subjects research, as defined in the common rule. What does engagement entail? Engaged institutions must hold or obtain a federal-wide assurance, or FWA, with OHRP. To obtain an FWA, the institution provides written assurance that it will comply with the requirements set forth in the Common Rule, including Institutional Review Board, or IRB, review and approval of research that is covered by the assurance. Information about obtaining an FWA can be found on the OHRP website under the tab titled Register IRBs and Obtain FWAs. It is important to remember that the concept of engagement is only relevant for non-exempt human subjects research. To determine if an HHS-funded project is non-exempt human subjects research, ask the following questions in this order. First, ask, does it meet the regulatory definition of research in the common rule? If the answer is yes, then ask, does the research involve human subjects as defined in the common rule? If the answer is yes, then ask, does the human subjects research meet any of the exemption categories in the common rule? If the human subjects research does not qualify for any of the exemptions, then it is non-exempt human subjects research. Remember that there is no need to worry about engagement if the entire project in question is not human subjects research under the regulatory definitions, or if it meets the criteria for an exemption, including research that can be exempted only after a limited IRB review is conducted to make the relevant determinations. We mentioned that one of the ways that an institution becomes engaged is when its employees or agents perform HHS-supported or conducted non-exempt human subjects research. For the purposes of engagement, who are considered employees or agents? OHRP considers employees or agents to be individuals who act on behalf of an institution, exercise institutional authority or responsibility, or perform institutionally designated activities. Individuals do not have to receive compensation from the institution to be considered agents for purposes of engagement analysis. They can be staff, students, contractors, volunteers, or other affiliated individuals. For additional information about who qualifies as an employee or agent, check out OHRP's 2009 guidance, Determining When Institutions Are Engaged in Research. So, when employees or agents of a single institution are conducting non-exempt human subjects research, the institution is engaged. The issue of engagement can be more complex when multiple institutions, or individuals from multiple institutions, work together on various aspects of a non-exempt human subjects research project. It is possible for some institutions to be engaged while others are not. In such cases, OHRP's position is that the primary awardee of the HHS funds to conduct non-exempt human subjects research in a multi-institutional project is generally considered to be engaged. There are a few exceptions to this general position that the primary awardee is considered engaged. 
These exceptions are discussed in OHRP's correspondence on non-engaged scenarios from September 22, 2011, which can be found on our website. With regard to the other participating institutions, those that are not the primary awardee, whether they are engaged depends on the actual research activities that each institution's employees or agents undertake for the research project. While institutions, not individuals, are considered to be engaged, it is the activities of the institution's employees or agents that make an institution engaged. When determining which institutions in a multi-institutional research project are considered to be engaged, think about these points for each of the participating institutions. If the institution is the primary awardee of federal funding for the research, then typically it is engaged regardless of the role its employees or agents play in the research, unless it meets an exception discussed in OHRP's correspondence on non-engaged scenarios that was mentioned earlier. For the other participating institutions that are not the primary awardee, consider the specific activities that its employees or agents are doing. Generally, an institution is engaged if its employees or agents undertake any of the following activities that OHRP considers to constitute human subjects research. One, if they obtain information or biospecimens through interventions or interactions with individuals and use, study, or analyze the information or biospecimens. Two, if they obtain, use, study, analyze, or generate identifiable private information or identifiable biospecimens. Or, three, if they obtain the informed consent of research subjects. In addition, there are times when certain specific conditions are met such that OHRP would consider an institution to be not engaged, even if its employees or agents carry out activities that constitute human subjects research. Check out OHRP's Guidance on Engagement of Institutions in Human Subjects Research and OHRP's Guidance Determining When Institutions Are Engaged in Research for a non-exclusive list of examples illustrating these conditions under which OHRP would not consider the institution to be engaged. On occasion, OHRP has made determinations of non-engagement on a case-by-case -case basis in circumstances that did not meet the conditions outlined in these guidance documents. Find information about these in OHRP's correspondence on non-engaged scenarios. Institutions that are not engaged do not have to have an active FWA. However, institutions that are engaged must either have their own FWA or their employees or agents who are conducting the research must be covered by the FWA of another institution involved in the multi-institutional project. An institution that does not already have an FWA can obtain one from OHRP. Otherwise, a collaborating institution that holds an FWA could recognize as its agents those investigators that are employed at the institution without an FWA. In this way, the investigators would be considered agents of this FWA holding collaborating institution for the purposes of this specific study. Alternatively, under certain circumstances, an FWA holding institution could enter into an individual investigator agreement to extend its FWA to cover the activities of the investigators at the institution without an FWA. This can also be done for investigators who are not affiliated with any institution, but who are conducting human subjects research activities as part of the multi-institutional research project. You can refer to the 2005 OHRP guidance on extending an FWA to cover collaborating investigators found on OHRP's website for more information. Which option is best? In general, it would be for the FWA holding institution and the institution that employs the investigators but doesn't hold an FWA to determine which option would work better for them. 
For more information about these options, see OHRP's guidance determining when institutions are engaged in research. Engaged institutions must ensure that non-exempt human subjects research that is conducted or supported by HHS is reviewed and approved by an IRB. Keep in mind that, in general, institutions that receive an HHS award through a grant or a contract to conduct non-exempt human subjects research are considered to be engaged in all of those projects conducted under the award and therefore must have IRB review of all these projects. This is the case even when all the projects are carried out by other institutions. To fulfill this requirement in multi-institutional research, institutions, which may include the primary awardee, may use their own IRBs or rely entirely or in part on the review of another IRB so as not to duplicate effort. The revised common rule, initially published on January 19, 2017, includes, with some exceptions, requirements that institutions located in the United States that are engaged in cooperative research that involves more than one institution and is subject to the revised common rule, rely on a single IRB for the portion of the research conducted in the U.S. The compliance date for this requirement is January 20, 2020, but this arrangement is allowed as an option already. Let's look at some examples. Assume that in all of these examples the determination has been made that they involve non-exempt human subjects research. University A is awarded an HHS grant to study the mental health of elderly subjects. Ten adult daycare centers in the region have agreed to help with recruiting study subjects. The centers will put up posters and distribute pamphlets with information about the study. Staff members at each center will inform center attendees about the study. Attendees of the daycare centers who are interested in participating will contact research staff at University A to have the details explained to them and to provide their informed consent. All study procedures will also be conducted by staff at University A. Are the adult daycare centers engaged? No. Even though the adult daycare centers are putting up posters, distributing pamphlets, and providing information about the study, that is the extent of their involvement. Staff members at the adult daycare centers are not obtaining informed consent, or conducting any other human subjects activities for the research. The adult daycare centers are not engaged and are not required to have an FWA. Is University A engaged? Yes! University A is engaged because it is the primary awardee of the federal grant and its staff will interact and intervene with human subjects for the purpose of the non-exempt human subjects research by obtaining their informed consent and performing the study procedures. University A must have an active FWA along with IRB review and approval of the research. Let's consider another example. University B is awarded an NIH grant for a randomized controlled trial of two different medical treatments. Research staff at University B will recruit research subjects, obtain informed consent, and collect blood samples from subjects in both treatment groups for genetic analysis. The genetic sequencing will be done by Laboratory X. The agents of Laboratory X will receive coded blood samples to use for sequencing and will not be able to link the samples back to individuals. Laboratory X will provide the results to the investigators at University B for analysis as part of the research project. Co-investigators at Clinic C will conduct the research interventions and document the findings that will be sent to the investigators at University B for analysis and reporting. Is University B engaged? Yes. University B is engaged because it is the primary awardee of the NIH grant for non-exempt human subjects research. 
In addition, its agents conduct human subjects research activities when they interact and intervene with individuals through recruitment, obtaining informed consent, and collecting blood samples for research purposes. University B is engaged and will need to have an FWA along with IRB review and approval of the multi-institutional research project. However, University B may rely entirely or in part on the review of another IRB or a central IRB so as not to duplicate effort. Is Laboratory X engaged? No. Although Laboratory X is involved in the multi-institutional research project, it is not the primary awardee and its agents do not conduct any human subjects research activities according to the regulatory definitions. They do not interact or intervene with human subjects or obtain their informed consent. They do not have access to identifiable private information or identifiable biospecimens. Therefore, Laboratory X is not engaged. It does not need to have an FWA. Is Clinic C engaged? Yes. Agents at Clinic C interact and intervene with subjects when they conduct research interventions and collect subjects' information. In other words, they conduct non-exempt human subjects research activities. Further, the clinic's activities do not meet any of the non-engaged scenarios identified in OHRP's guidance on engagement of institutions in human subjects research. Clinic C is engaged and must have an active FWA. It also must have an IRB review and approve its agents' activities related to this multi-institutional research project. Clinic C may have its own IRB, or it may rely entirely or in part on the review of another IRB or a central IRB so as not to duplicate effort. Consider one last example. Dr. Brown, an employee of University A, is awarded an HHS grant to conduct a multi-center clinical trial. Nurses employed at 10 partnering community hospitals will do the recruitment, the informed consent process, and the interventions. For the purpose of the research, these nurses are considered to be investigators. Dr. Brown will analyze aggregate de-identified data at University A and provide logistical and intellectual support to the partnering institutions. Hospital CH, one of the participating hospitals, does not have an FWA filed with OHRP. Is University A engaged? Yes. University A is the primary awardee of the HHS grant to conduct non-exempt human subjects research with Dr. Brown as the lead investigator. Because it is the primary awardee, University A is engaged even if Dr. Brown is analyzing only aggregate and de-identified data. University A must have an active FWA and an IRB must review and approve the multi-institutional research project on its behalf in order to receive the grant award. However, University A may rely entirely or in part on the review of another institution's IRB or a central IRB so as not to duplicate effort. Are the community hospitals engaged? Yes. The nurses, as agents of the community hospitals, will recruit research subjects, obtain informed consent, and deliver the study interventions. The nurses' activities do not meet any of the non-engaged scenarios identified in OHRP's guidance on engagement of institutions in human subjects research. Therefore, the community hospitals are engaged. Each hospital must be covered by an active FWA and have its activities reviewed and approved by an IRB. Each hospital may rely entirely or in part on the review of another IRB or a central IRB. Can Hospital CH take part in the research without an FWA? Hospital CH can take part in the research only if it is covered by an active FWA. This can be accomplished in three ways. First, the hospital can file and obtain an FWA from OHRP. Second, University A or another collaborating institution with an FWA 
could recognize that the employees of Hospital CH are acting as its agents for the purposes of the research study. Third, University A or another participating hospital may be able to extend its FWA to cover the research activities of Hospital CH's nurses by entering into an Individual Investigator Agreement or IIA with the nurses. You can refer to the 2005 OHRP's guidance on extending an FWA to cover collaborating investigators found on OHRP's website for more information. To summarize, when several institutions are collaborating on non-exempt human subjects research covered by the HHS regulations, the primary awardee of the federal funds is typically engaged. For the other collaborating institutions, consider for each one whether their employees or agents 1. Obtain information or biospecimens through intervention or interaction with individuals and use, study, or analyze the information or biospecimens. 2. Obtain, use, study, analyze, or generate identifiable private information or identifiable biospecimens. Or 3 obtain the informed consent of research subjects. Finally, consider whether the engagement of any of the collaborating institutions meets one of the non-engaged scenarios included in OHRP's guidance on engagement of institutions in human subjects research. That concludes this review of institutional engagement in HHS conducted or supported human subjects research. We hope you found it helpful. We've focused on the key ideas here, but encourage you to consult the regulations and guidance documents for more detailed information. Visit OHRP's website, www.hhs.gov forward slash OHRP for additional information. Thank you.